What is up everyone? JD here. Hope you're doing well today. I'm excited to look at this Microtech SOCOM Elite. Let's get into it. Shout out to Jay Dizzle for letting me check out this model. He sent it along with some knives that I had sent to him to be modified. And it was so cool of him to offer up these knives for me to check out. What we're going to do is just some profile comparisons. We'll check the weight on the knife and then we'll jump into my thoughts and impressions and cover some of the mods that my boy did on this because he absolutely killed it. All right, we're going to kick it off with a couple of American-made size comparisons. Here it is against the Spyderco Para 3 and the Spyderco Shaman. So this is definitely a full-size knife, bigger than both the knives on the table. 100% USA-made tactical pocket knife for sure. Let's do a couple of budget knives comparisons just in case you're just getting into the game or you are still in the budget knives. Uh, and not the higher end knives because this knife starts at over 300. Here it is against the Migron Moriarl under 50 bucks, 14C28N, G10, and then the Civivi Ball Tusk, which is more of a full size offering from Civivi. They start at 60 bucks with 14C28 and G10. Um, both of these are very impressive offerings for the money let's go ahead and check the weight on this one should be uh over five ounces definitely i know it's aluminum um the steel by itself feels very heavy for the size but i definitely feel like this should come in yeah so coming in at 5.2 um not bad though because i think the shaman i think let me before i put it away i think the shaman comes in around that so yeah 5.2 um the full size, you know, and the steel liners on the on the Shaman versus the aluminum aluminum and all the extra steel here on the uh, SOCOM Elite. I forgot to do uh, profile. This is definitely a thicker knife for sure. Um, coming in thicker than the Shaman. And I think the Moriarl's a thicker EDC and it's coming in a little bit thicker than that as well. So again, big full size American tactical knife. Um, great detent ergonomics are very comfortable on this you got plenty of space especially for someone like me that has the larger hands i really do appreciate all that extra room on here it makes it very comfortable no hot spots you can feel a little bit of the jimping here on the lock bar but it's not awful. You just kind of feel the extra grip. But I'm grateful for that because for me, it makes it nice if you're the type that likes to disengage the knife to pass the detent ball on this one because it's pretty far down. <laughs> Struggling a little bit there. Um, it's nice for that. Like you can just get it past that and not have to worry about it getting to the thumb. Because when you come in from the side, you got to be quick to remove the thumb to get it out of there. And then lifting up, you got to get it pretty close to the finger. Like it's a little unsettling for me to disengage it like that. But I think my favorite is just to disengage. And then once you get past the detent ball ramp, um, it definitely feels like it has a ramp. And Jay Dizzle will correct me in the comments if I'm wrong there. But it feels like here it gets past where the blade stops. And then here it feels like it's in on the detent ball ramp. And then it kind of gets past that. So I could be wrong, but that's what I'm thinking. Um, the knife itself is actually, even though it is a thicker geometry, it, it cuts really well. Now, I didn't take it through any cardboard because it's not mine, um, but I can just tell by the geometry thickness that you probably would have to just push a little bit harder or get it out closer to the tip. Um, it is a very thick geometry. It's a, it's a This feels like it's built for tactical purposes, for puncturing things, you know, whatever that may mean to you. But it feels like it's not meant to like snap or break off very easily. Uh, it is the M390, but I don't know if this is the MK. Microtech does their own batter, uh, cake mix, whatever you want to call it, to their knives. And I don't know if this is one of those. Um, again, ergonomically very nice. Blade stock thickness is, you know, I would say probably comparable to like a hinderer. It, it is very thick, uh, tough steel. But it cuts well. Like it went through the material. It went through paper. I did like a like a notepad paper, not like 
college rule notebook paper, but like more of like um, a slightly thicker paper, I guess is the, like something you would probably see more on like a shipping label thickness, uh, if that makes any sense. And the edge on it's really good on it. So I just did like a couple passes just to test it, but it's not mine. So I didn't want to do any heavy cutting. I'm more interested in the mods, which is what we're about to jump in here and do. So Jay Dizzle let me know that these are tip up carry which is not something that he prefers and what tip up means or i'm sorry tip down i said that backwards already tip down means that it sits in the pocket like this with the tip exposed so if you're going down to get it if by any reason or any chance you hit something and it pops out um which it can do in the in the right hand carry tip down the the tip could be come exposed now this has a good detent on it so i don't anticipate that that would happen um, but this would probably be better in the left pocket tip down so that it's kind of packed into the side of the uh, pants pocket here and you're not really running that risk what he did is he tapped and threaded this for tip up carry so that when it's in the pocket right-handed it's against the inside seam of the pocket when you're going down to the get the knife out you're you're most people just grab it like this, but you're going and pulling it up like that. If you're going down into the pocket to get something else, you're just rubbing against the spine here. Um, and it, I did forget to mention, it does have a little bit of a clamshell with little cutouts here. I, I don't know if that's for weight reduction or not, um, but it, it's pretty good. The seam, you can see it, but there's no feel. You can't really tell just running your hand across it that there's a transition anywhere on it at all, no matter where you're touching it. But I do like that he did this mod. The pocket clip on it actually works really well on these. Um, I know these styles are not the most popular because they're not deep carry. It leaves a decent amount of the knife out, which to me means it's just easier to grab. But these work well. Um, they go in and out of the pocket well. They retain well. They got good tension to them. Kind of reminds me sort of the Chris Reeve clip. So it works really, really well. But he did a nice job. It looks good and level. Uh, it looks factory. I couldn't tell until he told me that's what it was because I've never handled the Elite. So another reason I'm glad he sent it over. And he did these, and I'm going to depend on my editor to correct the naming, but it looks like a, uh, a dark carbon fiber inlay because they come with G10 inlays from the factory. And does that not look like a factory inlay? And doesn't it look good? It just gives it a little bit more of a premium vibe. And it looks fantastic. He did a really good job. I love the, um, the two-tone with a little hint of shine to it because it kind of helps bring out the reflectivity of that carbon fiber, in my opinion. Um, I like this a lot, man. He did a really good job with it. This is just to look at his mods more than anything and just give a quick overview of my thoughts on the SOCOM Elite. Um, definitely a large knife, definitely feels more tactical. Uh, the jimping here is in good positions as well for like different types of control and what you're doing. And then the way that it fans out here, like for the puncturing, I feel like this would be super secure. But it is really cool and it is an awesome piece. And I, I love the little touches that he did. Um, adding a sense of premium but still keeping like that dark theme that darked out theme going really really cool and um, it's well made it definitely feels very well made all microtechs that i've encountered for their otfs always feel very well made and then um, both the knives that had the ram lock the msi and i i forget the other one i want to say stitch but i don't know if that's right they are very well made now if, I know there's some controversy around the Ramlock. I've heard folks say they have encountered Ramlocks that have failed. I didn't test it that way when I had mine, so I can't chime in on that. Um, but I've seen these uh, videos here recently where people are like, hey, these frame locks are failing. Um, and that just goes to show the importance of the lock bar interface. And it's a little bit harder with the liner locks because the way that you're able to get so much more material to lock up, depending on the frame lock, sometimes the liner lock sections themselves can be fairly large. This is not my knife, so I'm not testing his. Again, this is more overview of the SOCOM Elite. But does anyone else out there have a SOCOM or experience with the SOCOM? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment. And did I miss anything on this review? Um, I know I don't really get into glass breakers, so I don't know much about that. And, you know, 
I don't even know with the lanyard hole not being here, how much you would have been able to prioritize going up because it really thins out up here. I, I mean, you might have been able to go up a, a skosh more, but what sticks out to me with that mod isn't really much of a change. But if you like this and you're interested in something like this for your SOCOM, reach out to Jay Dizzle. Uh, no web page, he's on Instagram, very easy to get a hold of him, or you probably can find him in the comments of this video, um, making sure that I stated everything correctly let him know if you have an interest on anything like this from him he does fantastic work i've sent a bunch of my stuff to him and i'm always happy with he, what he has sent back does a great job great communication i, I love the boy um, shout out to jay dizzle and everyone out there that uses the links comments likes and is subscribed i love you guys thank you for all your support i hope you have a fantastic week until next time peace